Hi there. Here are five main reasons why Savage content is probably not for you. Now, I'm not saying you can't eventually get ready for Savage content, but if anything on this list irks you in any way, then you might not be ready. There are some caveats at the end that are super important. So if you've watched the entire video, stay tuned till then. Reason number one, you do not enjoy following a strict rotation or a guideline of rotation. Now, when it comes to Savage, you are top tier and every DPS number counts. This goes for DPS, tank, and even healer. Not casting your combust every 30 seconds if you're an astro and keeping it on cooldown? Well, be prepared to be coached on how much DPS loss that actually is. Accidentally cast too many OGCDs at once? Well, you're gonna hear about it. We're talking practically perfect openers, raid buff timers, and understanding your job to a T. You may think to yourself, I'm actually pretty great at these things naturally in casual content, or I just enjoy that kind of stuff. Well, maybe in casual, but when you're having to look at four different things on map and your partner and the boss and the next mechanic, boom, party wipe. Knowing your rotation and timing should almost be second nature when you are ready to jump in this tier of content. Reason number two, you don't have a lot of game time. Now, when working on Savage content, seriously, you will probably find yourself a static group to which this should be considered as part of the Savage fight right there. And probably one of the most difficult things about doing Savage content is there are different types of groups that are a little more casual, midcore or hardcore when looking into doing Savage content. Yeah, there are pickup games and those are for the truly well-educated raid players who know the fights and their rotation enough to just jump in and pick up any old raid, which is a thing, don't get me wrong, but most Savage players are looking for consistent weekly commitment to learning the current Savage tier. I know a few who do at least a few hours twice a week, which doesn't seem like much on its own, but between playing the game, life, family, work, things can get a little crazy. So it's not impossible with just a little bit of time, but really the only way to get better at anything in life is that it just takes time and you gotta practice. Number three, you do not like voice chatting. Now this one's kind of weird as I've seen people do it without voice chatting, but you will want to be on that voice call when you get that seasoned veteran saying they will do callouts for everyone, which are godsend angels in this game. Imagine knowing a fight so well you can tell other people how to play. I have seen in my experience that voice chatting is a pretty integral part of Savage content, is to be on Discord, speaking in Discord. Wait, speaking of Discord, you can join my Discord. We are just a great, helpful community and you can find that link down below. Okay, now back to the video. Now there's one caveat here. You don't always have to talk back. If you're pretty confident in your ability, you can just tune in and listen to what they're saying and adjust from there. Because sometimes you're just not able to voice chat. Maybe you have a kid running around. So most of the time, as long as you can tune in and listen, then you might be okay. Number four, you do not like doing homework. Most Savage Party Finders and Statics expect that you're going to be doing a certain amount of research before the raid. Meaning that you're going to have to look up the boss fight, understand the mechanics to a degree, and not go in blind. As even one player that is severely underperforming means that party is wiping. This also includes looking at your parses, watching videos, maybe looking back at your videos if they've recorded, and figuring out where you can improve or be more educated in a certain mechanic. It really is a side hustle to be doing Savage content and leads us to our very last reason why Savage content just might not be for you. You rage quit. Now, if you've done this in the past in game, you may or may not want to hang up that hat for Savage content now. I know this may be harsh, but allow me to be the one that tell you if you get angry easy, can't work through your issues and just give up when things get tough, you're going to make a lot of players unhappy fairly quickly. The biggest reason is you aren't only quitting on yourself and the time you put in, but you're also letting seven other players down who count on you for showing up and going through the trenches and the mud with them. Now, if any of these apply to you and you're just not up to overcoming the obstacles, then you shouldn't jump into Savage. Three, two, one. Okay, so now most of the players that are super aggro for no reason have gone to the comment section and stopped watching at this point. I'm going to reason with you here. If you truly want to do raiding and Savage tier content, babe, you got this. I believe in you. You can overcome any one of these things with just a little above average amount of determination. None of these things are at all difficult. It's far more scarier than you actually trying it. 
Now, yes, you're going to run into jerks. You're going to come up against obstacles and players saying that you need to get better before returning to the static. But all of these things only have one thing in common. How determined you are to experience some of the best content Final Fantasy XIV has to offer. Now, I have to apologize for the first five rather harsh things, but that's just to scare away the players who really have no business doing Savage content. But I will say that Savage is for everyone and anyone can work at it in game. It's just going to require a little bit of work and some determination on your part, but I've seen players who are completely introvert and want nothing to do with talking to other people to completing some of the hardest content in the game and even going beyond that. Now I'm going to put together a guide about how you can prepare for Savage and what you can do in order to start working towards Savage content and I'll have that link down below when it's done. Now don't worry, the video will come out soon and if you want to get notified, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below in order to get notified of all of my future upcoming Endwalker guides and tutorials. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.